you, but I've often thought it must be absolutely daunting if you are a, an amazing composer, you know, a gifted musician, whatever, to be asked to do something for the monarchy, whichever monarchy it is, you know, around the world, because it's there, isn't it? It's historical. It's the moment, you know, that sort of thing. So it must be absolutely thrilling, yet daunting, as I found out by speaking to the brilliant, well, you know, the world famous, the man who brought us so many hit musicals, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber, who's just been given that particular commission. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. I hope you're all keeping well. Got the fleece back out, I know, into March and we're suddenly all cold again. Apparently we're going to be having snow What's happening, eh? I mean, but, you know, when you look back, and I don't know if you know this about the British weather, but, you know, we everybody in March, you know, we see it as the start of uh, a getaway. We all want to go off to the seaside after being cooped up for months on end over the winter. So over the bank holidays in Easter and stuff like that, you see people shivering on the seafront going, it's not so bad. It's terrible, but we're just committed, aren't we? I think that, well, we should be committed, shouldn't we? You know what I mean? But um, we just want to get out, don't we? I think that's the thing. Let's hope we get good weather, though, on May the 6th of this year, the coronation of King Charles III. A big daunting day for this man. That's right, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber. He's the man that way back gave us all of those wonderful musicals like Phantom of the Opera, Aspects of Love. You remember that one with Michael Ball? That's still coming back. And of course, his first really big hit, when you think about it, uh, well, kind of, I suppose, would be Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Now, I've been lucky enough to work with Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber on many different occasions. I have to tell you, he came to the studio once, and uh, a bit of an inside secret if you're a fan of the musical maestro. He only really feels comfortable being interviewed or talking when he's placed behind a piano. You know, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a huge piano but a keyboard things like that it's where he feels his comfort zone you know so we had to bring up this keyboard in the lift and you know what's coming yes the lift broke down and uh, sadly for Andrew we had to battle on that's what you see in a picture alongside with me with him because he was just a little bit daunted by this he was doing a big interview for Australia for the launch of Love Never Dies of course the follow-up to Phantom of the Opera still a brilliant musical I might point out Big things expected, though, for a coronation anthem, and it's expected to become one of the biggest pieces of historical music in our time. This is because they will release it digitally on all kinds of platforms, so you'll be able to download it. But not only that, they're going to be putting out a CD, which I think is far more prevalent, don't you, for our age bracket. You'll be able to pick it up as a souvenir in supermarkets and uh, whatever the remains now of the record stores. I did speak to Andrew. He basically said it's always daunting. But the bottom line is, he said, you know, it's one of those things that you really hope to get as a composer because it just proves not only are you recognised by, of course, the British monarchy, the royals as such, but nonetheless, you just know you're going to be part of an historical event. And that's really, I suppose, an important part. When you think about it with Andrew, he's had so many milestones in his career, performed literally in front of kings, queens, presidents, you name it. Everybody has seen or heard some of Andrew Lloyd Webber's work. And on May the 6th of this year, a whole new, brand new audience will once again delight in what he's decided to come up with for the King's Coronation Anthem. I did say, where does your inspiration come from? And he said, truthfully, right now, I'm thinking about it. So that's an exclusive from me to you. <laughs> Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber is currently working in progress on the forthcoming King's Coronation Anthem. But like everything he's done, it's no doubt bound to be a huge international success and, of course, something that we will look back on with historical context and content. I'd love to know what you think to Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber being picked to put together the King's Anthem. Think it's a good choice or would you have picked someone else? Neil Sean, Breaking Showbiz News in the heart of London.